Seven people are hurt and two cited for drunk driving after an early morning string of crashes in southeast Portland. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 6. I'm Ken Boddy. Tonight, one man is fighting for his life in the hospital after a crash sends the van he was in rolling into a building. This bizarre case involves two early morning crash sites, the first on southeast 12th and Morrison. The driver took off after the accident and then plowed into another car at 20th and Madison. Coin 6 reporter Chris Woodard is live in southeast Portland where all this happened. Chris? Yeah, Ken, it was just last night we were talking about an increase in police patrols over the Memorial Day weekend because it always seems like there are so many drunk driving arrests. Well, evidence of the latest, still very obvious here in southeast Portland. You can see a fire hydrant there knocked over, laying on its side, and then the front of this building, the front entrance still completely boarded up, and the awning here now only being held up by two two-by-fours. A minivan on its side and into a building. The early morning crash had first responders rushing to save lives. Neighbors. It was kind of frightening. Jolted out of their sleep. Just heard a very loud crash and went out to my patio and watched kind of it unfold. Police have arrested 26 year old Nathan Weisbeck. Hit and run and DUII are just some of the charges. And as if proving the problem of drinking and driving over the holiday weekend, the driver he hit in the van also cited for DUII. It's really a kind of a freak occurrence to have these accidents all together, but there's one common theme and that's alcohol. Police say around 2 a.m. Weisbeck crashed his pickup truck into a car full of people at the intersection of Southeast 12th and Morrison. He didn't stop, so the four people in the car called 911 and started following him. A few minutes later and a few blocks away, this scene. There was a lot of like, like yelling going on and I could kind of overhear just People were very upset at the driver. Police say Weisbeck blew through the stop sign and slammed into the van, sending it rolling into the front door of this business. The passenger, eventually pulled out of the van by firefighters, is now in critical condition with life-threatening injuries. You say it over and over again, do not drink and drive. And it's another example of what can happen when people drink too much and get behind the wheel. In all, three cars were involved, seven people were injured and taken to the hospital, two cited for drinking and driving. And again, most of those injuries were not life threatening, but there is that one person, the passenger in the van that came to the rest here against the building. He is in the hospital tonight, is in critical condition and fighting for his life. Live in Southeast Portland, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News.